Well, this polar bear challenge has come to an end. It's uh, the total conclusion will be on the 22nd. We give about a week for everybody to question any statistics or make any corrections or uh, bring anything to the attention of the judge. And then after that week is up, basically it is all in the books. Whatever way it gets entered, that's the way it's going to stay. So any corrections, anything like that, bring it to the attention of the judge, Crazy D. And then after that, we will call it over. Quite a challenging year this year. Um, a lot of us have had our bikes take a beating from this, myself included. Not just the fact that I dropped my bike, but the fact that uh, the salt just finally ate up both of the stop switches. Um, got one of them kind of fixed until the weather gets warm, and then the other one for the front. I had to totally replace it. And then, uh, of course, everybody knows Navy Thomas' story with his uh, BMW. I mean... Not that they maybe don't build some good bikes, but uh, service, I mean, if the service isn't there from the company, I don't I don't want the bike even if it's a good bike, so um, that's not even open open to debate. And then uh, Keith had problems with his, Crazy D, yeah, people talked about him uh, almost lighting his bike on fire, but constantly having to patch that rear tire, too, to keep it going. Gentleman's Nine with the battery problem, I mean... Uh, Big Bill Chicago, he got taken out of the challenge too because of an unreliable bike just with electrical problems. I mean, and that's a Harley, so um, yeah, when you have a bike that's just, you can't rely on everything, you can't also go out in the cold and be riding around if you're not, if you're not confident the bike's going to take care of you, so um, I don't know. Next year I learned I can't ride like Crazy D, I know that. I'm not prepared for the ice yet. Maybe some packed snow once in a while here and there, but uh, that kind of took me out, so uh, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the nice view out my front window. This is the storm that's coming right now. It's the, uh, what is today, the 17th. And we got another 7 inches coming here on top of the piles and piles you can see out there already. So wouldn't be surprised tomorrow to wake, wake up with uh, 3 foot of snow total piled up in my yard. But, you know, it is what it is, and it was fun. It was uh, definitely a challenge this year. I, I would have to say of all the years, this was for me. It was the most challenging polar bear challenge, so it sure uh, it sure made the name. And, uh, yeah, the the Buckeye boys, Team Ohio, um, they ran away with everything. I mean, you could have probably disqualified a third of their rides, and they would have still blown everybody away, but uh, good on them. I mean, if you don't have the competition giving you competition, then, you know, hey, go for it, you know. Maybe next year things will be a little different. I really thought when the Unholy Alliance formed that uh, they were going to have a real challenge. But, you know, it still turned out really great. And uh, everybody participated really well. Everybody made it fun. And uh, let's look forward to an even better one next year. Take care, guys.